Hi guys! For this video, I will share how to make PCB using Snapmaker CNC. Before that, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell to get the latest update from us. First, of course you need to have a PCB design. I'm using Eager PCB to design. From the PCB design, we need to convert to a G-code file. To convert it, I'm using Eager ULP from GitHub MacNugget 6750. You can download it here. At Eager PCB, click on ULP. This is the setting inside the PCB G code generator. I have played the setting before and I can say that this is the best setting. At least it works for me. So maybe you can follow the same setting as mine. Then click accept to make my board. It will generate a few G code files based on the PCB design. So this is the files located in the same PCB design folder. There are four G-code files. We only use drill and edge G-code files. So I will delete another two files. For your information, these G-code files are general for CNC. So, to be used with Snapmaker, you need to edit the file a bit. Open the file using any text editor. Scroll to the end of the file. Change M4 to M5 and save the file. Same goes to another G-code file. For your information, M5 refers to the command to stop the CNC motor. Next, we go to Snapmaker. First, we need to use a CNC carving head. Then, there must be a wasteboard between PCB and Snapmaker plate. For PCB, I'm using a copper clad board with paper phenolic type. And I stick to the waste board using double-sided tape. Then connect the Snapmaker to the computer using USB cable and turn on the Snapmaker. Next, open Snapmaker software. Refresh the serial port and connect to the Snapmaker port. Click Upload G-Code and open the G-Code file. I will start with Edge first. You can see here the complete routing for PCB etching process. Next, we need to set the work origin for this board. Work origin refers to the bit starting point. From here, it should be located at the most right and bottom of the board. So I will move the bit and point it to the work origin. Okay, that is my work origin and you need to click set work origin. To verify the routing is inside the board, you can click 
brand boundary. It will move to the maximum position based on the routing. You can see it is moving inside my board. Anyway, I'm using a V-shaped PCB engraving bit and the angle is 10 degrees. If everything is okay, click run. You may need a vacuum during the etching process. Okay, we have done the etching process. Next, we will proceed with drilling a hole. I'm using a CNC drill bit with 0.9 mm. We change the drill bit now. Next, upload a jiggle file for drill. This is the overview for the jiggle file. Then we need to set the work origin again. Just set the Z axis. X and Y remain the same. Click set work origin and run. Again, we need to use a vacuum. Okay, now we have made a PCB using Snapmaker. For the next step, like resizing the hole, I will do it manually. Then I will use sandpaper to remove all the burrs. This method maybe is not perfect to make PCB, but for me, it just works. So that's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Good luck and thank you for watching.